Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 7th of January, 2011. Potential for a major winter storm for parts of Alabama Sunday and Monday. That's obviously the highlight here. And let's get right to it and tell you what we know. And we won't tell you what we don't know. Uh, first off, the Skycam shots this morning. No problems today or tomorrow. That's uh, looking right down 20th Street in downtown Birmingham from the Daniel Building. It's uh, mostly fair and cold. Nice shot of downtown Jasper coming from the King Building in Walker County. And that's going to be an interesting camera to watch up here on Sunday and Monday. That's our sky cam at Mount Sheehaw, Alabama's highest peak. The elevation up there, 2,400 feet south of Anniston. Big trough over the east. It's going to be uh, dry and cool today and tomorrow. And you can see that energy near Los Angeles that will be traversing through. And, you know, that will be getting into the American Upper Air Network today. And that will just add to confidence we have in the forecast. But the modeling is very good at this point in terms of agreement on our Sunday-Monday event, as you'll see. Temperatures this morning, uh, look at the cold spot. Alexander City at 30. Uh, Birmingham a tad warmer at 37. And uh, we're expecting a high today in the low 50s. It'll be a nice, uh, quiet, calm day with a partly sunny sky. Uh, up on the watch warning map, the Weather Service, will they have not issued winter storm watches yet. They will do that uh, more than likely on the afternoon package uh, today for a pretty good chunk of north and central Alabama. But uh, to the northeast, we've got uh, winter weather advisories for today and tomorrow, not for the big event. This is for uh, energy coming down that northwest flow in the trough for parts of east Tennessee. Uh, the Great Smokies, a winter storm warning up there where they could see a pretty good bit of snow. And again, this is not the big show. This is an impulse coming down from the northwest. And what you see for Alabama, that's a uh, wind advisory for uh, a gusty winds today. It's going to be a bit breezy with a pressure gradient. Okay, this is the QPF chart, the expected precipitation for the next five days. Valid through Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock. And this is suggesting amounts of, uh, well, three-quarters of an inch for most of the state. And obviously that's problematic. If all of that falls in the form of snow, that's going to be a lot. And it won't, but... Uh, uh, the other problem is the fact that this could fall in the form of freezing rain at times. That's the big problem. And uh, that, that is the, clearly the most difficult part of this forecast is determining precipitation type for the central part of the state where we are. Up in the Tennessee Valley, I think it's going to be mostly all snow. Uh, that's pretty simple. But down here, it's very complex in trying to determine when we'll see snow and when we'll see freezing rain. All right, this is the day three winter weather outlook, the, the heavy snow outlook coming from uh, HPC. This is valid uh, Sunday morning at 6 o'clock through Monday morning at 6 o'clock. And uh, it's got the probability of at least four inches of snow highest over the Tennessee Valley. I think that's dead on. I think they've nailed it. Uh, really, it runs from uh, southern Arkansas up through uh, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, and Scottsboro. And I think somebody up in there is going to get hammered. And exactly where that heavier snow strip lies, we don't know that yet, but I think that's excellent placement. Now, the ice outlook on day three, and of course, this is problematic here. The higher probabilities really for significant icing, and this is at least a quarter inch of ice running from near Clanton, Alabama, over to Augusta, Georgia. But that whole zone in through there could definitely see some freezing rain. That includes a large chunk of north and central Alabama. And uh, if we see a quarter inch of ice, that could be enough to, uh, you know, cause power outages with tree limbs coming down and power lines coming down. Uh, so let's get in here and look at modeling, and uh, we'll, we, we can start to be specific. Uh, this is valid at noon tomorrow. This is the 06 e I'm sorry, noon today. This is the 06 e GFS. Uh, cold look for the east. And down below that, again, you can see that snow north of here. And some of that snow could clip the northeast corner of the state. Uh, Jackson and uh, DeKalb County. So uh, some of our friends up there, maybe around Mentone, might see a few snowflakes today. But down here, not bad. We'll be in the mid-50s today. We'll call it partly sunny. It will feel very good. You won't think that a, a winter storm event is coming. Uh, there's tomorrow. And again, in the wake of that disturbance, some colder air filters in through here. And by the way, look at the trough digging down through uh, Mexico and the Gulf of California. That's the trough that will bring the winter storm. 
But again, at the surface, the uh, thickness values are lower, and the, uh, the GFS is showing a high of only 43 tomorrow. All right, Sunday, you can see very strong shortwave energy digging down through southeastern Texas, and that will be spinning up this surface low south of Lake Charles. This is noon on Sunday. And really at this point, uh, I'll say this, sometimes these events have been starting earlier than forecast this season. I'm not saying this one will, but we're thinking the bulk of the problems will be after midday Sunday uh, that would not impact church Sunday morning. But having said that, the models have been missing the onset of these things. But really what concerns us is Sunday night. This is midnight Sunday night. The surface low is uh, south of Mobile Bay. The freeze line at about 5,000 feet, that could be a good rain-snow line, is pretty much right over Birmingham. And north of that, we could see some really good snow going. A deformation axis will be setting up, and I think it's going to be over the Tennessee Valley. Uh, and we'll go to the two-meter temperatures at midnight Sunday night, and this is really troubling. That zero-degree line, that's the freeze line just off the ground, you know, two meters off the ground. And you can see that really sub-freezing temperatures are possible deep into South Alabama with very heavy precipitation falling here. And that could be some very significant icing Sunday night. And that would be uh, very challenging. Our last really significant ice storm here was in 1996. The last what I'd call catastrophic ice storm was in 1980. We have been statistically overdue for one of these for a long time. And uh, if this is right, the greatest issue here would be ice across north central Alabama. That could be really rough. And then we'll go to Monday at uh, noon, and the whole thing winds down. And really, cold air doesn't flood in as there's not a really deep digging surface low east of here. The surface low is weakening. So Monday might just taper off maybe to light snow showers, maybe even rain showers. And there's the two-meter temperatures Monday at noon. And again, the, still, this is suggesting it could be below freezing up there over northeast Alabama with maybe some freezing rain. So it might even be a time where we go... Uh, uh, to some freezing rain up in the northeast part of the state. All right, we'll check the uh, NAM North American Mesoscale model. This is valid uh, Sunday night at midnight. And again, uh, that's the freeze line at 850. That could be a rain-snow line. This is suggesting more snow here instead of freezing rain with a better freezing rain potential south of Birmingham. And that would be, look at the very heavy snow band setting up over North Mississippi that would move into the Tennessee Valley. I really think somebody in the Tennessee Valley is going to get slammed with heavy snow here, big-time snow. Uh, we'll check the uh, snow accumulation graphics, first off coming off the uh, NAM. Now remember, this is just snow. This is not ice. The NAM is suggesting some really big snows north of a line from near Aliceville to Birmingham to uh, Anniston. And up there in uh, Muscle Shoals and Florence, that's 10 to 12 inches, <laughs> one foot. Are you kidding me? Here's the uh, GFS snow accumulation. It's not as aggressive. Uh, it's got amounts up there in the 4 to 6-inch range on the Tennessee border with lighter amounts down here. Uh, so, and let's look at the NAM. I'm, so, I'm sorry, the RPM. One more. I know you've seen a lot of maps here, but you wouldn't believe how many we see. This is the Rapid Precision Mesoscale model valid at midnight Sunday night. And, boy, that's a big mess. Uh, the white, that's icing. That's mostly freezing rain. Uh, right through the area between Birmingham and Montgomery with snow in the northern fringe of that, and all that mess is spreading north. And this is really keeping the heavier snow axis south of the Tennessee Valley. I think it's displaced farther to the south. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to do that for now. And, and remember, this could change. This is a, you know, we don't get systems like this that often. And obviously, as you all know, the skill set at uh, specific accumulation forecast this far in advance, not the best, but we think there is reasonable enough skill to go ahead and throw something out. So here we go. For the Tennessee Valley, four to seven inches possible. And this is just potential. With I, I think somebody up there, somebody could get up to 10 inches, isolated, but four to seven, that's a big snow for areas north of Birmingham, really north of a line from, uh, say, Millport to Jasper to Gadsden. Mostly snow up there. Now, the problem down here, we've got two to four inches of something. Snow, yes. Ice, yes. And I, that's the issue that we're not comfortable really defining yet is how much ice accumulation. Uh, that's the thing we just don't know yet. So we're going to say two to four inches potentially for Birmingham and Tuscaloosa and Anniston, almost all the way down to Montgomery. 
And uh, there could be significant ice accumulation somewhere within that part of central Alabama that could be enough for maybe some power outages with uh, tree limbs coming down and power lines like that. And there could be a little ice and snow below Montgomery. I don't think it'll be a big problem down there, but there could be some. So that's where we're going with it right now. This could and probably will change. Uh, so, again, just keep an eye on the blog. Uh, all right, let's go, go to Tuesday. <clears throat> uh, again, some evidence maybe of a few lingering uh, flurries up north, but uh, the whole thing will be over by Tuesday. Whether traffic gets back to normal yet, that, that's kind of hard to say at this point, but there's a Tuesday, and then uh, Wednesday looks cold and dry. This is not the really cold air we've been worried about. That's down the line. Uh, Thursday, the cold air deepens. In a week from today, still no issue. So at this point, the latter half of next week looks cold and dry. Uh, we'll go up there a couple of days to the 16th, and this is what concerns us. You can see that big trough carving out over the east, the ridge pumping up out west to tap that cross-polar air, and it starts to turn really cold. <clears throat> uh, again, some evidence that maybe we'll see uh, uh, a few snowflakes with this as the cold air arrives, but not a lot. Maybe enough to get the ground white if this is right. And this is voodoo country. This will change. The details, we don't know. And then the next day, uh, the 540 line goes down to Mobile. That's a 1,040 millibar high coming down from the north. And that could be very, very cold at that point. So we're still concerned about a big cold air outbreak, an Arctic outbreak, in the January 16th to the 20th time frame, something like that. And then uh, at the end of the period, the forecast period, the 22nd of January, that still looks cold. I mean, you still got the 540 line down to Mobile. So, uh, and there's the Arctic Oscillation just spiking almost off the chart. So if you're looking for a warm day, uh, you might want to go south of the equator where it's summer down there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. If you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.